alive, let's hit the dance floor. Don't work too hard, my break a backbone. Return to the Mac, the king is back though. Corvette and cash. I never What's up, guys? I'm Rhett. Welcome back to Lawn Insider. In today's video, we're going to talk about how I handle grub control and prevention in my Bermuda lawn. For those of you that don't know, grubs or grub worms aren't actually worms at all. They are June bug larvae and they feed on the root system of your grass and they can do a number on your lawn really, really quickly. And that's why whenever you have problem spots in your lawn, it's recommended that you dig first because grubs could be the culprit. It is Sunday, May 22nd, and we are finally getting a little reprieve from that 100 plus degree heat we've been getting lately. And we've actually got some rain in the forecast for the next few days and overall the lawn is actually looking pretty good all things considered because it's also been pretty dry lately as well but we do have a few seed heads popping up here and there and here is an example of what those seed heads look like in a lawn that gets real mowed so kind of like the weeds weeds will just adapt and they'll grow laterally seed heads will do the exact same thing so they just start kind of shooting out sideways so even on a real mowed lawn mowed at half an inch you still manage to get seed heads in your lawn but i'm hoping that this rain that we're getting here in the next week or so is going to help out in those areas that are a little bit stressed and I'm hoping to take advantage of these rainy days, not only to help out with some of the areas that are a little bit stressed, but also to go ahead and get my grub control treatment down. And this is the product that I'm using this year. It's called Dominion 2L. I mentioned it briefly in a video a couple weeks ago about my May lawn care routine, but it does need to be watered in within 24 hours of application. So I'm hoping we can get some rain. If we can't, I'll have to run the irrigation system a little bit but this is child and pet friendly. Just wait to let your dogs out or your kids play in the yard uh, until after it's done drying. And I'm going to apply it with my backpack sprayer. If you don't have a backpack sprayer or just don't feel like spraying, there are some granular options available as well. And both of these were sitting in the garage. This is the seven insect killer lawn granules. See there, it says it kills over 100 different types of insects and grubs are pictured right on the front of the bag. And over here is the Spectricide Triazicide product. Also kills over 100 different types of insects. And again, we have grubs pictured right there on the front of the bag. So both of these products can be picked up at your local big box store. And both of them, just like the liquid product, will need to be watered in after application. I tend to lean more towards using liquid products just because typically they're gonna be a lot cheaper per application than their granular counterparts. So once you actually have your product and you're ready to make the application, you need to know how much product you need to use. And that's where the Lawn Insider Lawn Product Calculator comes in. And I will leave a link to that in the description box below. But you're just gonna click on the link and it gives you two boxes. First box is the size of your lawn which is 4,159 square feet in my case, and then product per 1,000 square feet of lawn, which you can find on the label of whatever product you're gonna use. In this case, we wanna use 0.6 fluid ounces of product per 1,000 square feet of lawn. So I'm going to punch in 0.6, and then it gives me 2.4954, so we're just gonna round that. We're gonna need two and a half ounces of product for our entire application. So I've got some background noise to compete with now, but once you're actually ready to make your application, you're gonna to wanna to put on your proper PPE. So the long sleeves, gloves, glasses for the eyes, long pants, and then the rubber rain boots. And you're gonna need something to measure your product. So this is just a measuring cup that I picked up at my local Ewing, which is just the landscape supply store. And I've got the product two and a half ounces measured out and ready to pour in the tank. The tank itself is already halfway filled up with water, so I'm gonna go ahead and pour this in there. And then I'm going to go ahead and wash out the cup because there's gonna be product left in. All right, like that. And then we want to mix it. All 
All right, and that should be good. So now I'm going to fill it up to the four gallon mark, and then I'll give it another mix, and then we'll be ready to apply. So I went ahead and filled the tank up to the four gallon mark and gave it another mix, so we are ready to apply. I did wanna let y'all know that I am gonna use the Soil App T-Jet tip that I mentioned in my previous videos for this application because we want that bigger water droplet because once it gets watered in, it will make it down to that root zone a lot easier. And remember, whenever we're making applications with our backpack sprayers, we wanna put the wand right below knee level and we're walking at a steady and consistent pace and we want our passes to just barely overlap one another so we get nice, even coverage. So here we go. All right, I just finished up the application and I've already got my comfortable clothes on because it was getting way too hot. So right now I'm just going to run a few cycles of just water through the sprayer to clean it out. And then we're going to hope that we get some of that rain here in the next 24 hours. I finished up right around seven. So hopefully we get some rain before seven o'clock tomorrow. If not, I have to run my irrigation system because remember, we got to get this product down to the root zone. All right, y'all, we're gonna go ahead and wrap it up right there. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave me a like. If you're liking the content and you wanna to continue to see more of it, hit the red subscribe button below. And if you have any questions, comments, concerns, leave those in the comment section below. I'll see y'all again next week. Lawn Insider, out.